Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, doing a little video today uh, here at the gun shop, Northern Supply Guns and Ammo with uh, Tyler. I'm Kevin. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the SIG Spear LT. Um, so this one I have here in my hand is uh, chambered in 5.56. Uh, this one's actually mine, so that's why I have an optic and a sling on it. Uh, comes with a M-lock rail. Um, has an adjustable gas block. This is a piston-driven gun. Comes in weighing about seven and a half pounds. Has a one and seven twist barrel. Comes with SIG's flat trigger. Uh, it comes with a minimalist stock. Tyler will show you on that one. I took this stock off and put an adjustable one on from SIG. It was it's real easy. It's just one screw right there. Comes right on, right off. Super simple. Um, these guns are uh, really, really nice shooting guns. Uh, I took mine down to the Warrior Poets class. I took, I was able to take his class. Uh, we shot a lot of rounds in the class. Excellent, excellent shooting gun. It is, quite frankly, the nicest AR I've ever owned. Um, absolutely solid, solid gun. Uh, Tyler is our gunsmith here. Um, a, a big question that comes up is the flash suppressor coming off. He's going to tell you a second real quick how to do that. If any of you have these rifles and you want to remove this muzzle brake, um, because this is SIG's muzzle brake, but they are threaded halfway 28, so if you have any other muzzle brakes that you want for a, a suppressor or a flash hider, the easiest way to do it is to heat the muzzle brake up and then take a three quarter inch socket on an impact gun and just turn it right off. It'll slide over this way after you've heated it up for a little bit. These are used, uh, these are put on with really, really good rock set. So don't just try to just take them off, heat, 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 and then have a impact socket over the top here. It'll slide right over these prongs and it comes right off. Or you could just buy a SIG suppressor and throw right on top of it. Or you could buy a SIG suppressor and just use it that way. <laughs> We have these guns in, seven, that's a 762 by 39. Yep. Uh, mine's in 556. We also have them in 300 blackout. We're stocking these guns. Uh, stay tuned here. I'm going to uh, go out to the range with this just to show you guys some rounds down range. Um, they're not a cheap gun. They come in about 2400 bucks, but they're worth every single penny. So thanks for watching and stay tuned to shooting.